if you making over fifteen hundred dollars a month being a student, that's insane. You've been in Canada only six months. Yeah. Six months, six properties. You're surprising me, man. Okay, so <laughs> how the heck you got into this? One of the common question I got from many international students, especially coming from India, you know, brother, how can I get into real estate? You know, that's the biggest question. So today I'm meeting a guy. Uh, you know, his name is Aryan. He's also from India. He's still a student, and he already got into real estate. He's managing like six, seven student rentals. So we're gonna meet him. Look at this student rental house. What he is doing? How much money he's making? Because you know, if you're a student, this is what you can start with. It's really a great opportunity. I feel like it does exist in any city, whichever the city you're going into, whichever the city your college is, your university is. So I believe, like, if you stay till the end, you will get a really good idea how you can get started in real estate, even though being a student as well. So, are you ready? Let's go. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi, hi. How are you? So good, so good. So, this is Mr. Aryan. Hi. Aryan, Aryan so welcome uh, to my property. One of my properties, nine to five hundred. So, thank Come you, buddy. On. So first of all, when I met this guy, like I met in a weird place, like I met in a gym, and I was just about to get out, like around ten o'clock in the night. And this guy, bro, I know I watch your videos, and what do you do? Like this guy says, I'm a student, but I'm managing like I have six properties. What do you mean six properties? <laughs> you're a student, you're you're you have properties. I'm confused. So I said, okay, let's get to know each other, and then I the slowly more I found out about him. I thought you guys have to know this story because it's really, really inspiring. Especially if you're an international student, right? Like, don't have that limiting belief. You have to wait until you complete your education, until you complete your work permit, you get a PR. Don't wait until then. You have opportunities now. So, come oh, here, Aryan. Before we yeah. talk about your story, right? Like, so what's this house? How many so rooms? This house from the outside, you must, you guys must have seen. This is a small property, but still, it has three rooms in the basement. Three rooms in the main floor and three rooms in the top floor. And the top floor and the basement floor, small rooms, but the main floor, this floor rooms are a little bit bigger than the other ones. Got it. And how so, far is it from university? From university, it is just two kilometers. Mm -hmm. And from Saint Clair Riverside campus, it is three point five kilometers. And obviously, this house all students are from university and Saint Clair College. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Come so it was the two. So this are three rooms. This is the main kitchen, common area, common kitchen for everybody. And these are three rooms for three people. Okay, room number one. This is one, two, and third one. These are some bigger rooms comparatively. Right, can you see any room? This is the bathroom. Okay, so the washroom. The cleaning will be done every 15 days once or whenever we call them, they'll be coming to clean. Yeah, it looks like it's kept clean. Yeah, especially yeah. yeah, when I was a student, yeah. it's, it used to be like very <laughs> dirty. We used to clean ourselves and we don't clean. <laughs> So actually, the cleaning stuff was not included, but students said that the rent is so less and the room sizes are so small. So can you do the cleaning facility also? So then I spoke to the owner. Mm -hmm. I had people who do cleaning for a very less amount, monthly cleaning as a number of properties. So does the owner pay for it or the tells? Owner pays for it. That's good. So yeah. students get the cleaning services included part of the rent. So that's even better. Hello guys. What do you guys do? Okay. <laughs> no, I mean like, you guys going to school or? Uh? No, I'm in college. Okay. So, yeah. Canadian uh, language school is college. Yeah, <laughs> Just a yeah, confusing. Exactly. Even when I was like new, everyone used to say, oh, are you going to school? Yeah. Yes. No, I'm not going to school. <laughs> college is school. Yeah. Nice. What course are you into? I'm in hospitality. Hospitality. How about you, bro? No, I'm in college too. Human resource. Human resource. Nice. Where are you guys from? I'm from Punjab. Punjab. I said, where are you from? I'm from Delhi. Delhi. Nice, nice. So mixed uh, community. So where are you from? I am from, I was born in Libya. Libya? Yeah, Africa. Yeah. 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 I was born in Libya. My native is Kerala, but I was settled in Tamil Nadu. Okay. Oh, my, you're all over. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I'm, now I'm here managing properties. <laughs> for all Indian people. <laughs> More from South. <laughs> Uh, South Africa to India to <laughs> India to Canada. That's good. So covering most part yeah. of the world. Yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. 
So that's one room, two one rooms, room, and three rooms. rooms. Yeah. So we got three rooms on the main floor. So there is no living. Technically, yeah. they are using the living yeah. and dining. This is more than enough. Like, yeah, for students, right? Yeah. yeah. They almost stay in the room for yeah. every time. I agree. Yeah. Now let's go. Let's so this is like a typical. It's it was a home, mm -hmm. but they converted, converted into a student actually, house. Actually, this whole area was a store area. Just a storage. A store area. Yeah. So after that, he came to know that he already has two more properties. Mm -hmm. He just tried renting it out, and he came to know that this is a very good area for rental purposes. Student. So he converted this store area into a thousand dollars. Wow. So how Perfect. many how many bedrooms here? Uh, fifty, fifty, fifty. He's getting So he has three bedrooms. Yeah. Seven fifty per month by just changing a small. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, especially if you're looking to invest side, investing side, because especially if your property is close to university and mm -hmm. college, yeah. the more rooms you have, the more income yeah. you can make. So this is one small room. The rent is this two fifty for this room. Everything oh, they kept included. it clean. Everything is included, even the bed sheets. Okay. The house owner has given six. Bed sheets, pillow mm -hmm. covers, everything you see, TV, everything is included. Nice. That so, like including TV. Including TV. Wow, I wish I had uh, this room. Yeah. For 250, that's it. Just 250. Single person. Uh, and he doesn't have to pay extra for Wi Fi, utilities, nothing. And he doesn't even have to put the garbage outside on every Sundays. People come to put the garbage also. Outside. Wow. Yeah. That's good. That's a good deal for students. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we used to pay more like mm -hmm. eight years ago, $300, oh. and still. We have to do all the stuff. Oh, so yeah. that's that's interesting. That's all right. So typically, all the rooms look similar. Yeah, yeah. All almost all in each room, mm -hmm. to each floor are mm -hmm. the same. Nice. In the <coughs> top floor, all rooms should be similar to each other. In the main floor, all rooms should be similar. Similar. To each other. Okay. Got it. Even in the basement. So same. we got uh, how many rooms in the basement? Three. Three. Oh, three basement. Three main. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have some breakfast too? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it looks, looks nice, yeah. <laughs> People who are new, uh, I'll just tell you this is how a basement looks in all Canadian properties. You can most uh, of them. Yeah, most all of students houses. in all student houses, the basement will be attached to the laundry area, the gas vent area, and this is how the basement looks. So this is one room. This is another room, and this is the washroom. So every floor they got a washroom. Yeah, every floor they got a washroom. And that's another room. So here they got a stand-up shower. Mm -hmm. And people here also pay two fifty, just like the top floor. Mm -hmm. Even here it's two fifty, including everything. Got it. Yeah. So it's common uh, for everyone. Yeah, Same. And the main floor people pay four hundred, one fifty extra because their rooms are obviously. Uh, bigger in size, not mm -hmm. just double. It's almost one half size bigger than the other ones. Got it. So again, guys, this is a typical student house. Let's find out a little bit more about your your yeah. side of story. So Aryan, yeah, <laughs> what's the story, man? So how long you been in Canada? I just came to Canada by September seven, like last year. Last it's year, so almost it's six months now. Six months. Six okay. Months, yeah. Six months. Six properties. You're sur yeah. you're surprising me, man. Okay. So because you know, for many students, right? Like this is something they want to know because you've been in Canada only six months. Yeah. So how the heck you got into this properties? <laughs> so this was almost unexpected. I obviously wanted to get into real estate. Obviously, I saw his your videos. I saw okay. his videos. In all your videos, <laughs> you were like. Explaining how to get a real estate license. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I joined. Uh, how Saint to buy a re rental property? Yeah, I joined Saint Clair College, but real estate course is available only in Humber College. What mm -hmm. will I do now? I already joined this course, so I was like, oh, okay, let me complete this course first, mm -hmm. then think of it. Now after that, I was living in a house, mm -hmm. uh, September month, and I didn't like the house. Okay. Full of cockroaches. <laughs> so okay. I wanted to change the house. Mm -hmm. So the house owner said. In Canada, all students, uh, you guys should know this. When you are, you when you want a house, you will have to pay the first and last month rent in advance. Yeah. Okay. So I just paid first and last month advance, mm -hmm. and the house owner said, "If you want to leave now, I won't be giving you the last month advance." Yeah, because you are breaking the lease. Yeah, you are breaking mm -hmm. the lease. So I'll give you one option: you find a replacement for yourself 
mm-hmm. put a guy here and you can leave so that that guy will be giving me the yeah. last month at once yeah so i just listed the property i sold that house in 7 minutes 7 seven minutes 7 minutes <laughs> i just posted it on kijiji and the guy was it was a street that guy was next to my street mm-hmm. and the same thing was he his lease was almost getting over in like 2 or 3 days okay. he said bro is this arian yeah i'm arian uh bro i just saw you and right now bro you just posted it yeah bro i just posted it i'm yes. surprised too you want to yeah. come see it? yeah bro i want to come see it. he he came with two more guys mm-hmm. he saw the property bro i want to get this how much is the rent okay so, so and so <laughs> bro it's cash it's cash no problem no problem this scheme it was this 7 minutes gone okay only after that i realized that oh so many students are in need of rooms mm. and they are not getting rooms and then i contacted the house owner too mm-hmm. and i told uh, i got the last month rent it's so easy then he told oh arin i'm so sorry i was rude to you it is because i have two or three houses i can't maintain the house <laughs> so i found that there is a problem okay and i had the solution for yeah mm mm-hmm. so i started thinking whenever i see a listing mm-hmm. i didn't have a car that time i had only a cycle in summer <laughs> so whenever i see a listing i will check how far it is from my house okay. and then if it is like 2 or 3 kilometers i'll take the cycle i'll ride i'll go to the house and talk i have students with me I- i'll take this house you just give me one day time i'll bring the students tomorrow for this house and then it was a canadian owner He said, "Oh, you're so young." I was wearing a sleeveless. <laughs> I was talking like a small boy. And he told, "Oh, okay, I can. You can give a try." And next day, I bought six students for three rooms, two each. He was surprised. Oh, how did you make this happen? I said, "Yeah, I have students with me. I have people with me." Then he said, "Because I speak different languages. Yeah. I speak Punjabi, Hindi, Malayalam." Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So I can connect with different people. But um, yeah, again, you know, along with that, right? Like, so if you guys are following it or not, I don't know. Probably what Arian is doing is like you know a problem for a common problem that many people have, especially landlords who has student rentals. They cannot find students. So he's doing the leasing, right? Yeah. So technically, it's like leasing. You're not a property manager or anything, but you're helping the homeowners yeah. or investors or landlords yeah. to solve their problem. You're taking over because you have that connections to find, or even if you don't have the connections, you have that energy to go post the ad mm-hmm. on different yeah. platforms, yeah. right? So that's fantastic, man. Yeah. So and different. First, it was just posting in different social media platforms like Kijiji, Facebook mm-hmm. Marketplace, and now it's groups, okay. all WhatsApp groups. So, WhatsApp groups. That's yeah. even nicer. Mm-hmm. So. It's just a basic scenario. Mm-hmm. Like, if you are a house owner of 500k property, that is three crore Indian rupees, mm-hmm. and you have three or four properties like that, so you are a owner of 10 crore rupees, and you won't be going to each houses and checking for yeah. all the neatness and all, and you won't be putting the ad and it is yeah. available. Come, I will show you the house. They, you guys won't have time to do that. because you are rich and you don't have I mean, time again, to you know i would not say rich or anything because i own <laughs> yeah. properties right yeah. like so it's it's more about like uh, leveraging mm. a skill so i don't want to spend time on things that is not going to make me mm. more return so that's something i can find another player person just exactly what i do is like i give it to property management mm. company who does all that part mm. for me so that's exactly you're replacing that part yeah. especially in the student sector yeah. because that's a tough one in winzer i have like lot of clients asked me oh you know i want to buy a student rental because i can get good mm-hmm. cash flow you can make more income a monthly basis through student rental comparative to family rentals mm-hmm. but the challenge with the student rentals is what arian is mentioning mm-hmm. like which is managing them or yeah. are you know continuously because yeah, the students yeah. are moving mm-hmm. you you want to release them quickly yeah. you want to make sure your property is maintained well mm-hmm. so coming back to you know you're doing this now that's fantastic what's like your approximate income from out of all the six properties uh, i'll tell you a rough calculation yeah yeah of course so yeah. i work on sim mm-hmm. which as like every uh, international student yeah. i work 20 hours a week mm-hmm. whenever i get my salary that mm-hmm. is bi weekly or monthly i'll tell you the monthly amount whenever i get my monthly salary i'll be calculating oh this is just the half half <laughs> this is just the half half which i get from uh, rental properties so this is what i do so i would just recommend everybody that don't be average like so let's take a step back what do you mean half half i'm i'm a little confused <laughs> because you know again hey give us a number would you make like at least a 1500 a month give or take 1000 a little dollars? more <laughs> so okay that's i would stop there because you know if you making over 1500 dollars a month being a student that's insane and what if you can add couple more yeah that means you're see, increasing your income right by now this is the month of march mm-hmm. and by next month april end it is going to be another student year 
and by other student here i have a very good conference like i can sign in like five or 10 properties more so that means you're doubling your income yeah, yeah. so that's the thing like if you're working on part time jobs or mm-hmm. any other activities probably it's not that easy to mm-hmm. double your income because yeah. here you have to put double more hours mm-hmm. but here because you already have that small systems yeah. like putting posting in that taking the pictures and yeah. posting in the groups or doing those activities yeah. now you it's easy for you to yeah, double your income so, yeah now that i have a reputation here that all the house owners are recommending their house yeah. owner friends that are in so, i have a property which is going to be free by may it is mm. my friends property can you do it obviously no that, that's a simple matter for me i'll do it no problem but uh, you know do you think it's that easy like so what is your trick here uh, because you know what's your skill here so if it's easy everyone can do the, it right the main skill is all communication mm-hmm. yeah. like how i spoke to you yep. like you were my idol like, i'll see so you respect you since day one i was in india when i was watching your mm-hmm. videos i i didn't know that i will be talking with you like, like <laughs> but you know things dedication. happen within 6 yeah. months yeah it's all dedication and it's all the conference if you have like if you want it just go for it yeah. don't just wish for it work for it yeah man like, you're attacking my language so <laughs> honestly that's exactly what i want from you guys mm-hmm. right like don't just wish for it yeah. love it man love yeah. it yeah. so is there any other tips that you can give for you know new students who are coming in who wants to get into this real estate see if you have an idea like not just real estate mm-hmm. let's take if you ever have, have i have students who do tipping service at houses they just thought of it i have people who thought of it and they are still thinking of it yep. yeah they haven't implemented it so if you are thinking of it just go for it take the risk there are so many people who are not even trying if you are yep. trying and failing no problem fail hard fail again fail again and yep. after that you will be good you will 100% be good like in the first like i never knew that i will be managing six properties <laughs> and you will be talking to me like this i'm going to be on a youtube video i never thought of it <laughs> no no way so whenever i talk to my parents in india i my mom is all obviously so scared she she's like uh, i send india money mm-hmm. and she'll be like uh, arin uh, oh, whatever good. you are doing is legal only no <laughs> you are sending you just spent 6 months back and you are sending home cash you have to pay the fees also no sure <laughs> i know i will make it happen no. so this is all that so as an international student if you are wishing to come here i recommend please do be focused you are obviously so lucky that you are coming here if you are coming here or if you are already here you are already living so many people's dream there are already so many people in in, in india who are wishing to come to canada yeah. you are already in canada now so stay focused grind harder only now if you grind hard the next 10 years you you can sit like this you can just talk and the money will be coming from different chains of income yeah love it man so really it's awesome mm-hmm. awesome meeting you uh, yeah. because you know i really wish you a bright bright future because mm-hmm. this knowledge will not mm-hmm. stop here yeah, yeah. it will get you into buying things yeah, and you know it will get you into investing yeah, and yeah. so this is the first step honestly first step. if you're learning the basics mm-hmm. of real estate yeah, yeah. and and you're doing it while earning mm-hmm. so like you're learning while earning mm-hmm. that's a fantastic way approach i wish everyone should do this yeah. who is watching this so mm-hmm. bro Thank wish you the you best so for much. your future yeah. so guys yeah you have no excuses go do things and where can people follow you you know if they uh, are especially you guys, you know, the my phone number will be listed down whenever you are coming to canada or winsor whenever you are coming to winsor are in and you are in search of any rooms please do contact me i won't be charging anything from the students so you guys have no uh, <laughs> no worry about that yeah. the house owner will be paying me so no problem <laughs> so you can just contact me or if you want to follow me on instagram i'll be posting stories about uh, what are i'll put the link in the description yeah, you can yeah, the you'll see on the screen yeah. his uh, tag so guys I had also like you know if you need some suggestions right don't hesitate to reach out to Aryan if you're yeah. in a different city yeah. where now you're inspired mm-hmm. with the story you yeah. want to do the same thing reach out to him ask for some suggestions yeah, yeah. I I already have the uh, so many people who are asking me Aryan uh, tell me a bit about this one this uh, one this one because they don't have a clear picture of mm-hmm. what I still do if you guys are so interested you can text me Mm-hmm. I'll give you my phone number too. You guys can call me directly. Like I can help each other. Like because yeah. I know, like by twenty hours, you'll be getting money. But the more is the more better. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. So, it's it's fantastic. So guys, reach out to him. Uh, other than that, go check out the other videos. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye.